everybody, this is Andrew Guy with Guy with Greatest Impact University, helping you to create the impact where you live, work, and play. We are excited to bring you our new course, our new online environment, the community where you can grow, where you can thrive, where you live, where you work, and where you play. In this episode, we're going to be talking to you about your work life. Most people talk about work-life balance, but we're talking about work-life enrichment. How can we enrich your life so much that work is fun again? You remember back in the day when you just started your new job and it was fun. You look forward to it. And then after two, three, four years, then you just got so sad. You just, uh, work again. It becomes a chore, right? But we want to enrich that work experience again to make sure that you're getting the best out of your day and that your performance is at its optimum level. How does that sound? Yes, I think it sounds great because everybody wants to give their best, serve their best so they can learn more and earn more. Our goal here is to help you to learn more so you can earn more. All right. The first part we're going to talk about today is just your work life. How is your work life? You satisfied with your work life? Are you happy with your work life? Do you feel a sense of meaning when you go to work? And when you leave work, is it trudgery to get home? Traffic, you're bored, your energy is completely depleted. Well, there is a way that you can improve that energy so when you leave work, you have enough energy to get home and do some more and be inspired to get up and do it again the next day. That's what we want to talk about. We're going to talk about your footwear. Did you know that 100% of the weight that you carry rests on these? I call these your tires that get you from point A to B and you know what? It can get you from C and even to Z if you need. The footwear is important. Most people go to work and they have like a fancy shoes. They may have leather. They have something that's solid. It doesn't flex. It doesn't stretch. But your footwear is one of the most important tool of your work life. Notice we say work life. So your life is part of the work and the work affects your life. Your shoes have to be able to flex. So when you're going up the stairs, it flexes because your hand represents your feet, right? And they have joints. The joints move as you are moving. So the more flexible your footwear is, the better it is to help you to become more mobile. Mobility is key. Doesn't matter if you work in a one level building or a high rise building, you're going to be moving up and down the stairs. Your footwear is key. Make sure that you have at least a half an inch or one inch in your shoe. That means your toe will be able to breathe. It's difficult for you to move around in your day if your toes are cramped up inside your shoe. It affects the movement of blood to the different joints and it also causes your toes to become buckled like this. When your toes become buckled, then you start to get bunion and corn on your toes and then therefore you cannot wear a comfortable shoes anymore. You can no longer wear leather because leather doesn't stretch as much. You want to wear like a suede shoe. The suede shoes, I think, is optimal because it allows for proper breathing. And, you know, when you run around and move around all day, right, you get one of these, yeah, right? Yeah, so therefore there's not enough air being passed around in the shoe, so it starts to smell. So when you wear like a suede shoe, then it allows for air to pass between the shoes, so therefore you don't get that funk at the work, right? So that's one thing that you want to work on. Also, let's talk about the soul of the shoe because the soul of your shoe is the soul of your life get it soul of your shoe soul of your life okay we laugh about that later but let's stay focused the soul of your shoe must have grip on it it must have traction so that means if you're walking anywhere in your workplace you don't slip because it becomes a hazard if you have proper traction on your shoe it allows you to walk more comfortable and it affects the joint. So if you have a shoe that is slippery, then guess what's gonna happen? It affects your ankle, and that momentum goes up what's called a kinetic chain. Yeah, we'll get into that later. We'll teach you a little bit more about the kinetic chain and how everything is interconnected. You'll get that in the plant course. I hope that you grow with us to the plant section, okay? But what happened is when you're moving, every time you move, your toes have to adjust to the surface that it hits. First, you have a heel strike. You hit the surface, then you flat foot, and then you toe off. All this happens in the type of shoes that you're wearing. 
If you have one that restricts your movement, it affects you. And most people are basically suffering from low back problem. Why? Because of the ding, 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 the shoe. So in this part of the course, we want to help you to understand. Make sure you have the right tires on your car so you can drive around and make your work life a little bit more manageable. All right. So check your shoe. The next thing that we're going to talk about briefly is this. There are three main areas that I want you to talk to you about, about how to make your work life more successful and more meaningful. Going to work, the journey to get to work, 